Hey darlings, come on in. I just realized, I just realized, I was just getting ready for bed. So, and I realized that tomorrow is New Year's Eve. I have to work. And then after that, I've been invited to go to the Legion with uh, Harry and Teresa. So I thought I would go and dance and have a couple of drinks and why not, right? So, but anyways, I won't have time to come out and do a reading tomorrow for you. So I just wanted to come out. I wanted to wish you guys, you know, going into 2020, girls. 2020. Yeah, that's going to mean something. 2020. It's going to be a fantastic freaking year for all of us. And we're just going to, we're going to blossom. We're, we're going to kick the tower in the ass. And uh, we're going to leave the past where it belongs in 2019. And we're moving forward. So, I want to come out and just wish each and every one of you a fantastic and a very happy, happy new year. Okay? Oh my God, look at the hair on me. You can tell I'm getting ready for bed. But, since I'm here... Let's do a read. Let's do a quick read before Cher uh, passes out. So, 2020, let's throw them curtains open. I'm going to let the sun shine in. And we're going we're gonna to take control of our lives. Grab the reins, girlfriends and boyfriends. We're going to grab the reins. We're in control now. Pull over. I'm riding, I'm driving this friggin' chariot. We might get up on two wheels once in a while, but hey, whatever. Okay, we're going to do a, uh, a read. Just want to see who's out there. Uh, let's just do a collective. Let's just do a collective coming into 2020. Let's go, darlings. Collective. Let's get her on. Let's get her done. Collective. Let's go, darlings. Give us something good. Well, there's Pisces. And that's a female. That's a Pisces female there. I'm stirring up shit, probably. All right. Yeah, well, this is a collective that is, that you're, okay, you're, you're really battling yourself here, and I'm going to tell you, upside down, inside out, nine baskets of flowers, you're doing, you're doing good, you're battling, I don't know who you are, collective, but yeah, you love. What's that? Yeah, there's this coming out of that, coming out of this love. Could be with Nair sign, or it could be with a fire sign, or it could be a twin flame. The hardest, hardest challenge in one's lifetime is to ever meet a twin flame because if it's karmic it really hurts it is the hardest thing to try to beat to try to bring down it's friggin brutal it really really is making a decision now all right, so some of you guys out there, some of you guys, it's a very, very strong connection. Nobody's condemning you for anything. Some of you want to open up the lines of communication. You made your decision. You just feel like it's too hard. I can't, I can't go. I can't go on. I have to talk to them. I have to see them. I have to. It's understandable, darlings. That's understandable. 
Yeah. You're looking back. Looking back. Wanting to open up the lines of communication. You've already decided. Decisions already been made. Spirit. Now I'm going to tell you, darling. Spirit's talking. Spirit's talking. You're doing well. You got the Ten Pentacles on your side here. You're doing well. With the cards that are surrounding it, this is, I'm going to tell you, this is like a self-sabotage kind of thing. This is, you know, if you're going to go back in, if you're looking for a future or, or standing at the goalposts of life with this person, you know, along with it, it's going to come all that drama, all that drama that you've been fighting for months. Yeah. Cards. Yeah, this is definitely, definitely, definitely. This is, this is a twin flame for sure. This is a slow moving energy. This is an energy, and I can tell you yourself are a very sensual person. Whoever I'm talking to out there, you know you're a very sexy, sensual person. You 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 love that closeness, and so does this person. You both are very in tuned with each other when it comes to passion. I mean, wow, the two of you, holy crap, man! The house is just a rocking. Um. You know, I'm, I'm going to, holy crap, I didn't want this reading. It's freaking New Year's. Okay, but here we go. I'm going to read it to you because I wasn't going to come out. And then all of a sudden, Spirit told me, well, you're not going to be able to make a video tomorrow. So here it comes. This is for whoever needs it. For the collective out there who's thinking about going back. This person that you're dealing with does not want to open up communication. This person does not feel that they are a soulmate or a twin flame, even though they feel that pull, even though they feel it, they fight against it for some unknown freaking reason. Can't settle down or whatever, can't have one girl or one guy or whatever, I don't know. They do not want to open up the lines of communication because they know they know that you want more and that frightens them I'm serious it frightens them now if you do bring them in they will answer the call they will but they're coming back thief in the night same thing it, you're not going to get from this person what you want I'm sorry to have to put it out there like that but you know, a shark can't be fluffy. A shark can't lie to you. I love you. I'm not going to lie to you. They're going to. They're still the same person. They're still. They're still the same person. They haven't changed. And again, this is what it'll end up being. Either you ghosting or they ghosting. Someone packing up six swords, getting the hell out of Dodge. Because, darling, what's happening here ended up guarded. Ended up guarded again. And, and so it starts again. Feeling that this is a wish fulfillment. Feeling that this is a wish fulfillment. When everything is going to be perfect. If once you get over this, this is not them. This is you. Spirit tells me this is you. Cards have changed. 
This is you, darling. This is you wanting to come forward. Oh my God. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Let's. Spirit. Yeah. You bought them a gift, didn't you, darling? You got. You bought them a gift. It's wrapped up in your house, and you're waiting, waiting to give them the gift. It's nothing huge, but you bought them a gift. And you're sitting there, and you're waiting, and you're waiting, and you know, you're saying to yourself, they're not coming, they're not coming. Well, maybe if I just text them and tell them, you know what, I have a gift here for you. Why don't you pop by and pick it up? Yeah! No, it's something that they think they can get. Yeah, they're going to fly over there. Oh, something for me? This is it. Spirit's talking. This is an egotistical son of a bitch, man. This is a narcissistic guy. Narcissistic girl. Whatever it is. And it's... This is just the same thing. Over and over. This person has not changed. They have not. We're going into 2020. You're going to change. You're leaving 2019 behind you. And this. Leaving this behind you. Sure, it's going to help you. Yeah, this this is a person. It's very interesting. We have an earth sign here, too. This is a person very interested in what they can get. Be it sex. Be it money. Be it a gift, be it whatever it may be. This is a person that will, they just come in to break your heart. Honest to God. Because look, they will come in with their heart on their sleeve saying they want to, they can't. Saying they want to take the chance with you, take a leap. Getting you all high up on your horse and feeling good. Feeling good on top of the world because everything is working out. And then, bam, all of a sudden, refusing to take the fourth cup. Ghosting. Just, this is what I see. This is what spirit is showing me. And, and then here we go, see? Now we're upside down, and, and everything has changed, and everything goes back to where it was. Visiting the tower. Walking around in the tower again. Shar is here to tell you outright there is no future with this person. If it sounds like the person that you're dealing with, if this resonates, there is no future with this person. It is them. Holy shit. And let me tell you, the second tower, I'm telling you here and I'm telling you now, you think the first one was bad? You wait till it comes back making all these promises because you called it up and said, come. And it came this, this person has, you know what, seriously, this person has no heart. They really don't. They have no heart. I, I've met cold as ice before. This is cold as ice. It truly is. Holy crap, yeah, and then there's just no going back after that. Refusing to open up any kind of communication. Refusing, refusing everything. There's just, there's no going back after that. With the cards surrounding... Player material. You know what? Sure hates it, to tell you stuff like this. Find balance. Honey, I'm telling you here, I'm telling you now. If you bring this back into your life, you know. You know. You don't need Sure to tell you. You know. You all up on your couch, all up in your head, all up in your bed right now. And you know. You know what they're doing. You know where they're at. Where are they right now? 
Are they there holding your hand and comforting you? No. Where are they? Why haven't they called? Why haven't they come by? Bam! Where are they? Holy crap. Look at this. There's no balance here. None. No balance. Collective. Holy crap. You got to cut this off. Right there. Cut her off. Cut it off. 2020. Cut it off. You know what? I'm going to tell you something. Which, well, I shouldn't tell you, but I'm going to tell you anyway. I grew up very, very poor, poor parents. And as I got older and older, I held a lot of hate and animosity for them. And as I got older and older, it began to work on me. All my childhood started to come back and... I found myself angry and I found myself hate hate filled and I found myself it just bothered me so bad. How could they treat me that way? How can they treat a child that way? Blah blah blah. Anyways, long story short, it haunted me. And so I thought there's gotta be something I can do. And I went to a hypnotherapist and she was good. She was good. I wouldn't tell you. And all you do is just, I just sat on a couch, laid back, and she started talking. And I started visualizing. And you know what? When I think about my parents today, I have to think, wait, were they my parents? Was that me? <laughs> so it healed me a lot. It may be something where this is a very strong twin flame and you just can't release it. It may be just a suggestion. I've been there, and I know it worked. There's no more animosity for my parents, you know. And I really sometimes have to think, did I have parents? <laughs> just wipe my memory. I mean, I know I had parents, and I remember some things, but it was like it never happened to me. It was like it happened to somebody else. So... Freaking fantastic shit. That's all I can tell you. Find a hypnotherapist if you can't freaking blow this thing out and get some help. Um, most times it's covered under Medicare. So find, speak to somebody and uh, say, I, I want to be hypnotized. Uh, I need a hypnotherapist. I need someone to talk me out. And that's all it is, just talk you out. So I'm gonna come out and tell you, darlings, friggin' worked for me. It was friggin' amazing. And if I couldn't get over whatever I was going through when I went through the tower, if it kept haunting me and haunting me, yeah, I would do it again. But it's just a suggestion, because what I see here, Very abusive shit here. Nasty, nasty person. Nasty. Nasty ass. Thinks of no one but themselves. And you're stuck. You are, you are freaking stuck. Maybe in the new year, hook up with a hypnotherapist. All it takes is one or two sessions. And, well, for me, I kept going back because I just friggin' enjoyed it so much. And, you know, it's like, hey, take it all away, man, you know. <laughs> this is great. This is great. <laughs> but it sure does make you feel a hell of a lot lighter. So, listen, I'm ready to bring it over YouTube. Yeah, I went to a therapist. Yes, I did. And uh, if you can't beat this, go best thing you could ever do for yourself be a hell of a gift for 2020 I'll tell you that because it'll free you like you won't believe all right hey holy shit anyway collective darling yeah do you darling you deserve you deserve you that's it you deserve you and me.
<laughs> Happy New Year, my darlings. Namaste. Namaste.